Hello everyone, I'm back doing a spring Arctic ice update. Now here we're looking at the HICOM site and I'll post the links in the video for the three sites I'm going to be using for this video. So I guess we'll look piece by piece. Here we have Alaska and Siberia and you can see kind of this shallow less than a meter thick ice just barely holding on and you can kind of see the fringes of it beginning to disappear you can see the same thing along siberia here closer to the koreas and japan and you can also see that phenomenon over here that's falbard right there in the middle of the camera but you'll also notice there's kind of a thickening going on over here by the ESAS. So, and I'll, I'll pull this up for JAXA. We've been seeing the kind of perimeters of the ice disappear. I can scroll down a little bit here. You'll see over in Canada by Newfoundland and Nova Scotia, a lot of the very edges of the Arctic ice is already disappearing as the ocean warms up with El Nino. Here you can also see uh, this little point of interest here. I noticed there's... Uh, kind of pockets opening up by the thicker ice and I always feel like this is bad news for the summer because this thick ice is basically what's holding the arctic together so to speak every once all of the shallower ice melts this will be all that's left holding on so if this breaks up early before summer it could be bad news for the rest of the arctic shelf so let's look at sea surface temperatures using Earth Null School. You can see where the green dot is. Temperature, zoom out a little bit, is 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the Arctic Ocean is very salty, so it doesn't freeze exactly at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It freezes around 28 or 29. So seeing this water over here be 35 degrees, 38, 39, that's cold still for us humans, but it's warm enough to be melting ice already in spring. And when we get the full exposure of sunlight in the summer, you will see a rapid acceleration of temperatures here, and also a rapid acceleration of ice melt. So we can see from Earth Null School, and I'll move this a bit, that you can see where the cold or water is trying to escape and leave the Arctic pushing down to here and you can also see where the heat from the equator that's very hot there's a uh, some El Nino starting right there you can see where the hotter currents are pushing north and a lot of that warmer water is getting all the way up past Norway and Scandinavia almost up to Svalbard it's 40 degrees so that's uh, pretty warm for early April and just to check, because I always love checking extent, this is a JAXA VizHop, VizHop, whatever you want to call it. And I'll post the three links, the three websites, I'll post the links to them in the description. Right now we're at uh, seventh lowest, it's hard to do with the mouse. Yeah, right there. Seventh lowest extent, and if you zoom out, you can see where we are with correspondence to past year. So you'll notice here, very kind of flat line. We haven't had too much extent decrease because like I said, we still have some ice forming as the warm anomalies are melting some of the ice. So, I mean, that's good news for human civilization that we haven't just lost all the ice in spring, but I always like to reference, you know, this is 2023 by itself. So we've hit our peak uh, in the beginning of March 3rd, and we've just gone down since then. Haven't had too much gain except for this small period uh, the end of March. But if you look, comparing that to 2012, 2012 is the lowest year on record for extent, and we haven't gone above 2012 this entire year. So I don't really think that the ice not crashing early means we're gonna have a low extent year. I feel that because we've been so low under a lot of the, so the lowest years usually are 2016, 19, and 12. And you can see our trajectory is running 
very parallel to some of the lower years and they don't break off and separate until August. So there's a lot of time left in the year to go of melt. I'm not making any predictions early, just kind of wanted to make some observations because it's been a while that I've posted on this YouTube and life's been, uh, life's been hitting. So hopefully, hopefully y'all are looking forward to more regular updates. Uh, I've pretty weak infrastructure for getting this stuff online, but I'm going to be doing more work to get more uploads regularly available for y'all. So hope everyone's having a lovely day and we'll talk soon.